buckle up because Auto Moments is going back in time. The year is 1976 and the car is an AMC Pacer. One of America's most maligned automobiles, the Pacer seems to make it on every top 10 worst cars list. In the movies, nerds, losers, and weirdos always seem to drive a Pacer. You may laugh now, but there was a time when the Pacer was actually cool. Built by Little American Motors Corporation, the Pacer was a slap in the face to the stiff, boxy style that ruled the 1970s. AMC engineers wanted to combine small car economy with big car comfort. As a result, the Pacer became the first wide, small car. It was almost as wide as a Cadillac Eldorado, but it was four and a half feet shorter. Released in 1975, the Pacer was an instant hit. In the first year, AMC built over 145,000 of them. This 1976 model comes with a 4.2-liter inline-six Chrysler 3-speed automatic and AMC's signature basket-weave-style upholstery. For a 37-year-old car, this Pacer does remarkably well out on the road. Granted, it's no speed demon, but it does have the bigger of the two six-cylinder engines, which does make a difference. But if you really wanted more power, a V8 became available two years later. As one of the first American cars with rack and pinion steering, the Pacer handles unlike anything else from the 70s. Even with power assist, it's incredibly heavy, yet precise. It feels as if the car is literally bolted to the road. Another important feature is the record-setting window space on the Pacer. From behind the wheel on the Pacer, you definitely have excellent visibility, and of course that's because there's acres worth of glass in this car. The downside is that you feel like you're driving a fishbowl, and on a sunny day, it starts to heat up pretty quickly. The extra glass also added extra weight. This heft makes for a very smooth ride, but it certainly doesn't help your fuel economy. Since the public didn't like the idea of a small car with big car fuel economy, Pacer sales quickly dropped off, and AMC stopped production by 1980. The automotive world loves to hate this little car, which isn't fair, it's not the only ugly or poorly designed thing to come out of the 70s. And if you've ever experienced one firsthand and actually driven a Pacer, you find out that its weirdness is what makes it awesome. Yeah, compared to today's cars, it's loud and slow and burns too much gas, but it's got more character in one taillight than a whole fleet of Chevy Impalas. Just like spinach or pickled eggs, you shouldn't knock it until you try it. To learn more about the Pacer, check out our documentary film. If you own a cool car and want to be a part of Auto Moments, send us an email at thecarmeet at gmail.com. <laughs>